Russian-Ukraine war continues with Russia constantly attacking and Ukraine trying as much as possible to fight back. This war that was launched by Russia on February 24 is the fifth and as the war continues, both sides are trying heavily to guard their grounds. The British Telegraph newspaper writes today that the Russian forces have almost reached the point of exhaustion due to the unsuccessful operation. The Ukrainian military, on the other hand, claims that about 40,000 Russian soldiers were killed during clashes. Western estimates of Russian losses are lower, but nevertheless the loss is considered to exceed tens of thousands. However, according to the latest information obtained, the Russian President Vladimir Putin does not have the supplies or the support he needs for mass mobilization, so he has begun to resort to increasingly radical ways to prevent the collapse of the army. Since Russian president ordered the invasion of Ukraine, his forces have been accused of abuses ranging from killings in the Kahif suburb of Bucha to deadly attacks on civilian facilities, including March 16 bombing of a theater in Mariupol. The Mariupol accident was a heartbreaking one as it was recorded that about 1,000 civilians were allegedly hiding inside the theater which was designated as a shelter for the displaced, including children and elderly people. Reports also has it that Ukrainian forces have struck two military checkpoints and a landing pad on a Russian-held area in southern Ukraine. Seems like both parties are on each other's neck. Sahih Brachuk, spokesperson for the Odessa Regional Administration, quoted the Operational Command South as saying the new attack on Nova Kadkuva in the Kastan region killed 13 occupiers. Looking at a way forward, government officials from dozens of nations are meeting in the Netherlands to discuss with the International Criminal Court's Chief Prosecutor, Karim Khan, on how best to coordinate efforts to bring perpetrators of war crimes in Ukraine to justice. Meanwhile, Russian missiles have struck the central Ukraine city of Vinnytsia, killing two civilians. Sehir Brusov, governor of the Vinnytsia region, wrote on Telegram saying, they are dead and wounded. Later on, police put the initial toll at two dead and six wounded and said about 50 vehicles were on fire. So the question is, why Venezia? Recall that Venezia, a city in West Central Ukraine located on the banks of Southern Bog, was attacked by Russia sometime in March this year. On March 25 this year, Russian forces launched an airstrike against the Ukrainian Air Force Command Center which is located in Venetia. The airstrike consisted of six cruise missiles caused significant destruction to the infrastructure. Today's attack on the city occurred in the mid-morning far from war front lines. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky condemning the strike said, every day Russia destroys civilian population kills Ukrainian children and directs rockets at civilian targets where there is nothing military. What is this if not an act of terrorism? Killer state, terrorist state. Initial report put the death toll at 2, but update by State Emergency Service states 12. Is this truly a terrorist attack? 